Hi everyone, so this video is going to be my April empties video and I will just jump right in and show you what I finished this month. The first product that I finished is my um, Kirkland Daily Facial Cleansing Towelettes and I'm sure you all are absolutely sick and tired of seeing these because I talk about them in every single empties video, but favorite makeup cleansing towelettes um, that I've tried so far. So I finished one of those. And the next thing I finished was a face mask and this was actually a sheet face tonic from the brand I think it's Montan Jeunesse and these are the ones that you can buy at Walmart or pretty much any drugstore and they run a dollar to two dollars depending on where you get them and this, like I said this one is a sheet mask and I'm kind of torn on this one because it has fragrance which I don't like putting things with fragrance on my face because um, I just don't think that it's necessary and then I'm torn also because this has a really nice uh, cooling feeling to it so when you open um, the sheet up and you place it on your face instantly it cools your face it has a really spa like scent kind of herbally um, it does have menthol in it so I think that's where that super cooling feeling comes from I wasn't really wowed by this I don't think that it did anything spectacular for my skin but the cooling sensation is nice and I do have a second one of these so you will be seeing this again I don't necessarily think that it's something I would repurchase although I will say that um, I use this after a workout and I came in I washed my face and I put this mask on and my face felt amazing. It was just super cooling. So it felt nice, but I didn't see a noticeable difference in my skin. So I don't know. I'm kind of just so-so on this mask. The next thing I finished was this um, Organics Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil Renewing Treatment. And this is basically a deep conditioning treatment for your hair. And oh, there is a teeny little bit left in the bottom. So hopefully you can see it. It's kind of like a cream colored, thicker hair treatment. I absolutely did not like this at all. Um, it made my hair feel like straw, and the first time I used it, it made my hair feel like straw. So the second time I said, oh, well maybe I wasn't using enough. So I tried to use more, and it still gave my hair that same result. So I've tried this a million different ways, using just a little bit to using quite a bit, and it still made my hair feel like straw. For me, when I use a deep conditioning treatment, I really like that instant softness feeling. For me, I have other um, argan oil treatments that I like better, and even my Aussie 3 Minute Miracle, um, I like it better than this, and it leaves my hair softer than this. So I will not be repurchasing that. Um, the next thing that I finished was my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. And I have combination oily skin, so this moisturizer is one of my absolute favorites. Um, I have been kind of alternating this with my Garnier Moisture Refreshing, ugh, my Garnier Moisture Refreshing Gel Cream, which is just another gel moisturizer um, made for combination oily skin because this is a little bit pricey. The good thing about this though is it does come with 4.2 fluid ounces, whereas your average moisturizer, com average moisturizer, wow, I cannot talk today, sorry guys, um, your average moisturizer comes with probably about one ounce of moisturizer, whereas this has 4.2. So while it is more expensive, if you do price per ounce, this is um, pretty much the same as a lot of drugstore moisturizers. But like I said, I have been switching this off with the other one because even though it is about the same price per ounce, it's still a lot more to shell out for the bottle. But I really like this. It moisturizes my face without leaving it greasy. It sinks into my skin really fast and it just keeps my skin nice and balanced. So I love this moisturizer. Um, the next thing I finished was my Aquifer Lip Repair, and this is something that I will always have um, for the last couple of, um, I would say weeks even, and we're in, well into spring now, but for the last couple of weeks I've had super, super dry chapped lips, so this has been a lifesaver. This is kind of what I use when my lips are, I mean I use this on a regular basis too, but um, this is especially great for when my, when my lips are really in their super um, dry and chapped stage, so love this, and I definitely will be repurchasing that. Um, the next thing that I finished, and I know that's my key phrase in these videos, the next thing that I finished, the next thing that I finished, um, I know you guys are probably sick of hearing that too, but I have this Wet n Wild Brulee Shadow, and as you guys know, this is one of my all-time favorites for highlighting under the brow or using as an all-over base, and, um, you might, I don't know if you can tell the color, there might be a teeny little bit. Um, in the pan there that you might be able to tell the color, but it's just a really pretty creamy matte shade. There's no shimmer, no sparkle, just a really pretty nice matte shade. It blends really easily. Brulee is my all-time favorite, and I would be heartbroken if they ever discontinued this. Um, love this shadow. Absolute favorite. And the last thing I finished was a couple of hand soaps, and I know I've addressed this before in my empties video, but you might not see hand soaps 
um, in all of my empties videos and that's not because I don't use it it's because number one I have a bunch of different scents so I like to switch them out occasionally I try to finish a bottle before I go to a new scent but sometimes I just like to go to a new scent and number two sometimes I just forget to save them like makeup products and hair products and skincare and things like that I'm really good about saving but sometimes a hand soap it's done toss in the trash pull a new one out of the cabinet and I'm done so sometimes I just forget to pull it out doesn't mean that I'm not using it it just means that I forget to save it so the first one I finished is the fresh market apple apples my all-time favorite scent the country apples my favorite from Bath and Body Works but for a hand soap fresh market apple comes very close and I really do like that and then the next one that I finished is the sugar lemon fizz um, and this was the Gentle Foaming Hand Soap from Bath & Body Works also. And I really like this one for the kitchen. I like lemon scents for the kitchen. So I um, finished that one as well. And the one that I'm currently using, I just had to share because I just picked this up at Bath & Body Works a couple days ago. And I'm really loving this one. This is the Fresh Picked Pears. And oh my goodness, I love pears. And so when I saw this, I had to get it. And it smells absolutely amazing. It smells exactly as the name would suggest, Fresh Picked Pears. So I love that. Um, anyway, that was my April empties video. I think I did pretty well this month. Um, I really look forward to doing these empties videos. It keeps me motivated through the months to kind of go through my stash and to use products up because um, I do have a lot and I haven't purchased anything new in a long time. I really am trying to go through what I have and I don't think you need 500 eyeshadows and you don't need 25 lipsticks. So I really am trying to narrow my collection down to the things that I love and use and um, these empties videos are really motivating and um, anyway I hope you all enjoyed and until next time stay beautiful bye